Oh my gosh, you guys, I made it. Holy cow, I'm sweating like crazy. We just went up this waterfall. First gnarly crawl with the Jeep, like on the rock slider slamming, Geo digging, and we got 16 hours to drive home tomorrow. I'm sweating like crazy. It's an awesome video. You got it, go. Yeah. Hogan's on the rocks. Not only did we get to hit one of the most infamous waterfall crawls in Disney, we also got to meet Russ Hogan, who's the reason this area is open to the public. I raced the Olympics and the World Cup and that. Yeah. The main thing is I want to live out of this truck. I built it to rock crawl and wheel hard, harder than any other camper, hopefully. But I'm not in a rush to go get it in some hairy spots. Hey, are you going up that? Yeah. Right as I pulled up on the line, a group of side-by-sides pulled up and were kind of egging me on to do it. And even though I didn't really care to impress anyone, I literally told them that, look, man, this thing's been in the shop five months. I'm not trying to impress anyone. But I've seen this iconic waterfall crawl before on YouTube. A lot of times where the water's really rushing, this time it was only trickling. And I felt like this was the best test ever for my new Dana Ultimate 60s, my 40 inch tires, my new steering. Honestly, this setup just inspired so much confidence that I just had to take it on. How am I looking? That's what I, that's what I was told. I like it when I hear that. One of the side-by-side -side crew said, don't listen to anybody but him and pointed to the guy in the orange shirt. He seemed like a pretty humble, nice guy, and he said, yeah, I've helped spot a few rigs up here, and I think you got it no problem. And if you look closely in this shot from a whole separate day, you'll see this guy wearing an orange shirt. So I recommend if you're going to hit the line, get spotted by a guy wearing an orange shirt. It worked great for me, even though I didn't have my ARB air lockers hooked up because the ARB twin compressor has been out of stock for a while. Eh, who needs lockers? I don't got lockers either, by the way. I feel like it would have gone straight up if I had had an onboard compressor already installed and my ARB air lockers hooked up. But it's really fun driving without lockers because it adds a little bit of a challenge. Straighten up, maybe? There you go. Yeah. You got it, go. You got it, go. Yeah, go. Yeah. 
Yeah, go. Keep going. You're going to bump it. This feels really good. No, I come out here like, what we got to fix tonight? We'll see. Five months has been in the shop, man. I'm over that. Are you from around here? Arizona. I got to drive it back tomorrow. Oh, shit. Yeah! I understand I'm done now. Bro, here from Arizona. You got to understand, right? I will say, though, Code talked to me. She's like, what is wrong with him? I didn't know it. Yeah. That's so crazy, bro. Good job, dude. Thank you, man. Good job. Thank you. That was. Do you have a web cam or something? Or a web page? Okay. I got a YouTube, yeah. What is it? What is it? Uh, down, down to, here, I'll give you a sticker. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. What part of Arizona? You're from Arizona, dude. What's up, uh, uh, Later, man. Yeah, see you guys. Have a good one. That's awesome. Those guys were stoked. They were like pumping me up, like, come on, you got it, do it. That was so awesome. So freaking awesome. Of course, I didn't get enough camera angles and blah, blah, blah. You guys, what'd you think of that? It was amazing. Didn't you say? What's that? I thought you were gonna flip over. I wish I could drive so I could do Someday you can, right? Wow, that felt so good. That was definitely the best crawl I've ever done to be the only one in the group to do it. But the adventure's not over. After the crawl, we headed to Hogan's on the Rocks and met 82-year-old Russ Hogan. We learned that back in the day, this area was actually fenced off and Russ noticed that it was public land and he took it to court and fought for the rights of this place. It most likely would not be the off-road paradise it is today without Russ Hogan. So let's go meet the guy and check this place out. Oh my so gosh, yeah, that is a six by six. And, uh... Oh, really? This is okay. one of the first ones here with a Mazda Rotary. Okay, yeah. And it's 35 years old. I raced the Olympics and the World Cup and that. Yeah. Wow. These rigs have the most character out of anything I've ever seen. Hogan's Off-Road Park. Off -road. Dude, it's big super swampers. That's more oh yeah, these are portals, huh? Or are they? Yeah, they're portals. Wow, neat. Yeah, the old shop, the old Jayco. Dang. Look at that, man. This spot's neat. What? You just sit right in the floor. No way. That's so neat, man. Yeah, it's like, These have so much character. It's got four-wheel steer. Yeah. It's got the little deals there. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just like pipe, pipe too. Yeah. But these things, these, all these rigs have done everything out here. Dude. How oh, cool. Wow. Oh my gosh. Like, look at the grill. And then the springs. Oh yeah. I think the first time I came out here was about 04. And I think this was my first rig I remember seeing. So I think that's why I think it's the original. But that's just yeah, I... my memory. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Back, back, back. about 
Yeah, the boom. He said he's he's got line. He can run like all the way to the gate. <laughs> Wow, no way. Oh yeah, here's the Unimog. Yeah, he's got that. Oh my gosh, there's two Mogs. I guarantee he's probably got a stack. No way, dude. Look at the Mogs. Yeah, that's is that's a vehicle. Yeah. And it looks like it actually might work. <laughs> Maybe just some air in the tires. Yeah, this is Wow. Seriously museum. Then we well, bring these new things over here. These these things just have so much character, man. So neat. Oh, Proline Crawlapalooza. RC crawling, baby. Disney, Oklahoma. That must have been a fun event. Is this an explorer? Huh. All gave some, some gave all. Amen. Thanks to all that did. Look at this. So neat, huh? Hogan's rocks. Hogan's on the rocks. And of course, I had to get a t-shirt for good vibes, and that shot was pretty cool, too. I really wanted to section off a whole video about this and tell Russ's story, but who am I to tell his story? Hopefully, we'll make it back there and get to interview him in person someday. Wow, that place was so cool. We crawled all around in there. Still got so much more to explore next time. Bye. I cannot wipe this big fat cheesy grin off my face. I just realized I'm gonna live out of this truck. And I just wheeled it up something that, I mean, is just about as good as anything I've done. You know, I mean, sure, maybe I've hit a little bit more technical lines, but not much. Um, my rock wow, yeah, we're actually slowing down. It's raining and, and so windy. Like, I don't know if I've ever driven in something quite like this. The Jeep is moving around a lot, and it's very stable overall. Um, yeah, wow, the, you can just feel that wind hitting so hard. This would be so much harder if I didn't have good steering. So Drew just radioed that he's like, I gotta pull over and put something over that window. He broke his rear window out earlier today. So yeah, now it's getting tons of rain and water in there, and that's not good. And we were like, oh, it'll probably be fine, but the wind is crazy. Like, it's just whipping, tr like, pieces of trees. And holy cow, this is nuts. The thunder's gnarly, so we pulled over so Drew can get something over his window. Man, what a crappy day to break your rear window. Yeah, like, we're sitting still, stop, and the Jeep's like, Oklahoma, man. Drew was like, yeah, it's not really tornado season, but that's kind of what it looks like. And I was like, <laughs> as we drove into this. <laughs> There's the glass from his window still. Hey, I mean, I can barely see Drew, honestly. If his lights weren't on, it'd be tough at times. Yeah. I need new windshield wipers, which really sucks. But uh, they're working it fast enough. I can almost see through the screen better than I can real life, which is really weird. Wow. All right, home sweet home. There's our- Love this place. So thankful to have it, especially right now. We're gonna park right here and we'll be in the rain for like two seconds and then we'll be under the thing it's there. It's in my new uh, rain suit ready, but we're good. I actually brought a full rain suit today just to be prepared. So that kind of makes me feel good. But anyways, all right, let's get out of here and go inside. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. That was a very fun crawl to share with you. And then the next video, we'll jump back to camper stuff. So make sure you're subscribed. We'll see you on the next one. The only question is, are you down to mob?